Hey guys, well it's time for me to finally show you my new Falcon boat. You guys know I was with Ranger for a long time, just switched to Falcon. I didn't want to do like a whole boat walk around video right away as soon as I picked it up from Aquatech Marine. I wanted to actually go out, use it, fish out of it, truly see what I liked, if there was anything I didn't like, what I really liked. You know, I wanted to give you guys an honest, and, and you guys know me, an honest, no BS walk around of this new Falcon. We're gonna do it right now. And I wanna, it's, I wanna get into detail with this thing a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of stuff, but I wanna start out. So for right now, I've got a Minn Kota trolling motor on it. Um, there's another company that's coming out with a trolling motor soon that's gonna be put on for me to test, run. It's gonna be awesome. We're not gonna get into that in this video. But I will tell you some of the things right off the bat that I found about the Falcon. I'm just gonna go front to back. Stuff that I've found that I like about it. Um, one of the things I really like the trailer. It's pretty standard, kind of just like, just like the Ranger was in the front. A little bit different right here, but it's got a really sturdy Fulton winch on it with a really good grip on it. I mean, it's really, you know, it's like got a nice rubberized grip. You can really winch on it if you need to, if you don't quite get your trailer back far enough and you get the boat up there and you still got about that far. This thing's a beast. You can still winch on it. But one of the other things I really, really like about this is the other Fulton winch that, that jacks the trailer up right here, the jack stand. It's got a lot of power. It's super easy to turn and it's big and beefy. And it's the slide kind where you don't have to wind it all the way up, reaching under here like the other boat brand and pulling pins and doing all this kind of stuff. It's out here on the side. It's really, really easy to work. So I, I really like that part a lot. It's got the, the bumper up here that you pull up to is a big, beef. everything just seems like on this boat, it just seems like it's beefy. Like everything's just like, like beefed up and built really good. I think it's going to last for a long time. I've got a uh, Lowrance unit on the front. I'm going to hop up in here and show you that in a second. A Lowrance on the front and, and my power pole switches. Got the uh, Hydra Wave up there. So I'm going to jump up in here and I'm going to show you this. So I've got a 12 inch Lowrance mounted right here. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty. We just <laughs> washed the boat. But I got a 12 inch Lowrance right here. I've got my power pole foot switches. I've got one on each side. So when I, when I want to trim the power poles down, I always know that on the right side is going down, on the left side is coming up. I've got the Bass Boat Technology mount to mount my front HDS-12 from Lowrance. I don't have the active target on it yet. Oh, 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 but wait, this will have active target on it. You guys know that forward-facing sonar technology is just absolutely amazing. And Lawrence's active target is at the, at the very top. So it's going to be on there, just not quite on there yet. Of course, I got my Hydra Wave, um, you know, the, the recess pedal. It's kind of cool every time, every time you look down, you can see the Falcon logo, the Go Fish. When you're looking at it on this side, it's just got your lights and your exterior and the interior lights and your trim and everything. I mean, it's rock solid with, the, with that Bass Boat Technologies mount. Everything right there. You don't need a million switches up here. All it has is what you need. As we move back here, I want to show you guys. This is one of the coolest. There's a million cool things about this boat. This is one of the absolute coolest things about this boat is the rod locker opens this way. Instead of opening out, it opens like this. And it's so much easier because you're not, the rods aren't falling off the side when you're opening the lid like that. I love that part about it. But the best part I love about it is you can get into your rods while you're standing down on the ground. So just like this, we got the boat backed in the garage and I think, hey, you know what? I want to go out and retie two rods for tomorrow. Well, I don't have to climb up in the boat anymore. I can very easily just reach down in here, grab my halo, and, and retie it, put it back in. I absolutely love 
how the rod locker opens like that. Now when they, I've changed mine a little bit. When it comes from Falcon, it has up in there, it has the little rod tubes where you stick each one. I opened mine up so I can put more rods in there. And Falcon also gives you the little black thing with all the little holes in it that you can put the butts in. I like to carry a few more rods in my boat just for whatever situation I want to come up to. I want a Halo Ardent combo that's going to be ready to go. So I just open it up and just pile all these rods in here. I've got like 20 some rods in here right now. I could probably put 35 rods in here and they would all fit without any problem. So that is one of the coolest attributes of the Falcon that's just completely different from from most of the other boats. Now of course it's got the little tool holder right here. You know, I got my eagle claw pliers and my fancy braid scissors. This is awesome. You can see we were doing some snag proof stuff there. But this little slide thing for your tackle to keep you know stuff that I don't use that much. You know what's funny? I even got my crappie fishing stuff up here. <laughs> you, gotta, yo, you never know when you're gonna run into a school of crappie. But see, that thing slides, you know, and I got, I got all my stuff in here. I got all my, my stick worms. You know, I got, I got some nickel spinner baits. I got my leader line. These are pretty cool. It's from that Ozark Trail. It's a shutter swimmer. I'm catching them on that guy lately too. That Ozark Trail stuff's pretty, I use, net bait 99% of the time. But this is our trail stuff's pretty cool. Look at their stick worm. Got some big ribs on it. I like the net bait salt lick most of the time, but that one with those big ribs on is pretty cool. I'm getting sidetracked. Can you absolutely imagine that? Me getting sidetracked on talking about something? What? Come on, man. But no, how it stores everything, I can keep everything different and this thing sliding around. It's, I love it. It's absolutely awesome. You can see how these lids are all reinforced like this. So there's none of that bending, you know, when you step on the lids and everything. It's just everything solid. It's got the dual shocks on this side. So I love that. Now this side compartment over here, it opens the same way, just like that. There's so much storage in this room. The only thing I got in there is a net bait sweatshirt. How about that? <clears throat> and then this little compartment right here, this is where I got all like my, my boxes, you know, like my terminal tackle box, you know, my, my spinner bait box. Got a bunch of jerk baits, you know, I got, I got all that kind of stuff right in here. So that all fits, that all fits down in there real nice. Keeps everything just right. Here's, here's your little uh, your little fish measuring thing, which I've never even pulled out. That's the first time that's been pulled out of there. I haven't even pulled it out of there yet. So this is the cooler. And the cool thing about this cooler is it goes wet. I gotta show you this. It doesn't look that big from the lid, but look how far up in here it goes on each side. It goes way back in on, on both sides. I mean, it goes, it goes all the way to there. So it goes all the way to here underneath there. So the lid's not that big, but the cooler itself is really, really big. So that's, that's an advantage, especially down here in Florida in the summertime, it's really, really hot. And you gotta take a lot of water, a lot of Gatorade with you. Um, there's another little compartment right here. Some guys put some tackle and stuff like that in. I think it works really good as a trash can. Eh, whatever. To each his own. A cup holder right here. I'll put all our put all our snag proof frogs we were playing with earlier today back in there so this is really cool too so it's got instead of being carpet down here it's got like uh the c deck type stuff and it's got it's got that c deck stuff in a lot of places it's got it here here a lot of places where you don't want to get it scratched up or whatever we're having some fun today <laughs> catching someone some daggers but anyway, so it's got this and the real advantage to not having carpet down here is all the water in the boat and in, in, in any boat tends to run down into this area before it goes down in the drain holes. 
So this carpet down here just stays wet all the time. It's just, it's just always wet down here. And, and, and you guys know from, from, from your boats. So they went with this sea deck type stuff. Now I'll tell you what, on my next year's Falcon, um, I'm, I want one that's, that's all sea deck. My last couple Rangers I had were like that, where it's all that sea deck type material. It's not actually the sea deck brand, but that sea deck type material. I want to get the whole boat like that. But for right now, it's the floors like this. And it's so much, so much better than having carpet down there. It dries immediately once it's wet. Like this morning, I put ice in the cooler. Of course, I'm kind of like a bull in a china shop and I didn't get all of the ice in the cooler. There was some in this area here. It's 15 minute drive of the lake. By the time we got to the lake, it was already dry. Like it was, it's amazing. But so anyway, so they got these really cool seats and I kind of think this is awesome for for the co-angler because it's got like a like you can hold on right there if you need to you know if you feel the need for speed whoever's with you has got something to hold on to so that's pretty cool on those chairs it's got a uh, you know another handle here it's got a cool center box a little dry box here keep all kind of stuff man i keep you know sunscreen and glass cleaners extra pair of sunglasses all that kind of stuff there's a couple of couple of face shields in there when the hydrilla gnats get really bad I need to give to somebody um, I went with a hot foot in this boat and I don't like it I haven't had a hot foot for a long time and I got convinced to put a hot foot in this and I hate it to each his own I like cruise control and a hand throttle my next one will not have another hot foot in it um, Bass Boat Technology single mount. I got another Lowrance HDS 12 right here. Like I said, I got a single one up here. Later in the season, will I go to two up here when we start fishing offshore a lot more? Probably so. But for right now, you know, we're in the spawn time and all that kind of stuff. I just got the boat, just went with the single for right now. It's got the trim switch, trim switches uh, on this side, jack plate on this side, you know, like the blinker style switches. Um, steering wheel is really cool. But one, one thing I really, really like about this boat, there's not a bunch of useless gauges and stuff all around here. Like just useless. I've got my Mercury Smart Craft over here, my jack plate gauge, power poles up and down. That's all there is down here. There's not, in these other boats, they have all these, uh, you know, RPM gauge and this and that and blah, 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 blah. Well, with the Mercury Smart Craft talking to the Lowrance, I just run my gauges up on here so they're big and they're right in front of me. And then when I get to where I'm going to fish, beep, beep, one or two button presses and I'm back to chart and sonar. So through your Mercury Smart Craft, you can network into this and you have all your gauges right up here on a page. I've got my water pressure. I've got my water temperature, I've got my RPMs, my speed, my fuel level. See, there's not even a fuel gauge down here. Now, your Mercury Smart Craft is your fuel gauge. Um, but I can throw all the stuff from this little screen. I throw it all up here on Lowrance up to this big screen. Simple, big, right in front of me. I'm getting old. I need things a little bit bigger so I can see them better. I got it all right here in front of me. Um, we got the, the Lowrance Sonic Hub. Here's the speaker, one speaker's here. There's another speaker over there. The other one's here. Sounds awesome. I love it. That's also controlled. You can either do it through your phone or I can also throw that up onto my Lowrance HDS 12. Uh, and I can control all the audio for the Sonic Hub right through my, right through my, and that's how I usually do. I rarely do it through my phone. I usually do it all right through the my Lowrance unit that's right here. Um, one of the, another one of the cool things is, is the switch panel over here. It's not uh, like some kind of newfangled thing where it's you know all this crap and it's all tied together. You can see it's old, heavy, not old. They're brand new, obviously, but the old style, heavy duty rocker switches like i feel like if one of these switches goes bad I, I could fix it i could pop it out and probably with you know some electrical tape and and the, and the 
needle nose pliers I have, I could probably fix something. We're on those, some of the other boats that have the big panel that's all one piece and it's all, you know, those little pushy buttons and all that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know exactly what you call them. But if something happens in that, that whole thing, that whole touch pad is toast. It's done. It's over. Even though this is a little more old school, I actually like that better because I can fix that guy out on the water. If I have a problem, I can, I can pull the backs off and hit, touch the wires together and, and get the live well pumps to run or whatever. Where when you have one of those touch pads and that goes out, you're done. Your, your boat might not even start, much less the live wells work or the lights work or anything like that. So, and then there's also some circuit breakers right here everything right there so anything that happens you just if it doesn't work push that in pop it out the some of the other boat brands they have a big brain box underneath the the console here that, that all that stuff is they don't even do that anymore and one little thing with that goes wrong and the whole the whole boat's down so that it's a little bit old school but it's a lot awesome for it for it to be like that so I, that's another attribute that I really, really like about it. Since we're sitting here in the console, I'll tell you now, I've had the boat for a few weeks. I've had it in some fairly rough water. Nothing really big yet, but I've had it in some rough water. Um, dude, it's great. It, it does not bang when it comes off waves. It just kind of cushes when it, comes off, when it comes off bigger waves. It handles really, really good. It, it runs, I've got it up to 73 by myself. I don't know if it would run 73 with two people in it or not, um, but I've got it up to 73 by myself. It's got about 15 hours on it now, so it's probably good and, and broke in, I would assume. I mean, they say they're broken after two hours, but you know, it's got about 15 hours on it now, so I think it's pretty well good and broke in. Um, go back here. Of course, I always have to have my super stick push pole on here, you know. Um, I always mount it right here on all my boats that I've had for years. It's, it's a telescoping uh, push pole, super easy to get in and out. Um, I don't use it all the time, but there's been some times when I've been stuck and I needed it. You know, it's got good big live wells in it. The live wells literally go back to like right there. You know, they go, they go really far back in there. Um, good storage on on both sides like there's so much storage in this boat i don't even have anything in this oh well i got a, i got a sharpie in there that's all i got i don't know what i need i needed a sharpie for but apparently i needed a sharpie for something and these latches are awesome they're they're really heavy duty and i like how you can tell when they're unlocked because there's a little red dot right there so you know that's unlocked and it'll open because so many times you reach down there go like that pull on it and it about rip your finger off so you can always tell if it's open the little red things there it's closed like that here is one of the really really cool things about this boat check this out if you ever need to work on anything look how big that opens up it is it's so big i got a, a spare prop in here still in the box literally still like in none of the other companies you can hardly even put a spare prop here and, and, and i've got a spare prop in the box. look at this i could put six more batteries not six but i could put three more batteries right there if i needed don't need them one thing i did do this year too i went with lithium these are battle born batteries they're lithium batteries it's the first time i've ever used them um, and like I said, I've got, you know, I've used the boat for a few weeks now. So I feel like I, you know, I've, I've put them through the test so far. And speaking of batteries, I have the power pole charge system. That guy is awesome. The power pole charge is absolutely amazing. It uses the alternator off of your motor. And while you're running, it charges your batteries. It charges all four of your batteries in a bank. So between the lithium batteries performing better and the power pole charge, you're not going to believe me when I say this, but I'm going to tell you, and this is fact, 100% fact, between the, the lithium batteries from Battleborn, that power pole charger, I have plugged this boat in one time, once, and I've fished out of it, oh, I don't know, 12, 14 times probably. Only once for like 12 hours. Every other time was, 
you know, a five to seven hour trip. I've plugged it in once and that one time, no, I'm lying. I plugged it in twice. I plugged it in the night I got it because I didn't understand how good that power pole charge system was. And then the one day that I fished for like 12 hours, I plugged it in that night. I didn't have to, but I just, to make myself feel better. But there's an app, you can get the app on your phone and it shows you, it just shows you that they're full. So any, as long as you run for 15 or 20 minutes on your big motor, the batteries stay full. So that power pole charge system, I will never, I'm even getting it in my offshore boat. I'm getting the power pole charge system just to keep the batteries up like that. That's absolutely amazing. So I love the Battleborn lithium batteries. Love the power pole charge system. Um, over here, you can see it's real easy to get to. I can get to my power pole pumps if I ever you know, have any problem with them or anything. You can see it's just clean back here. See over here, there's not a whole bunch of just stuff laying around. It's super, super clean. Real easy. I love that part of the boat right there. Um, it's got the, uh, the, the, your plug system. Your boat plug is right here where you can see if it's in, if it's in or out. So you don't have to crawl under the boat and change it. You know, you just, you just do it right here. Here's where you, if you ever have to plug it in, there's where you plug it in right there. Let me climb down out of here. I will show you business end. I got 10 foot power poles. Why have eights when you can have tens the way I look at it. And my absolute favorite, favorite motor I've ever run. I've been running bass boats for God knows how long. Um, this new Mercury four stroke is, it's absolutely amazing. It sounds cool. It runs strong. Never had any problems with it. The only problem I've ever had with it is get gummed up with grass. Every once in a while, you gotta stop, hit it in reverse a few times to get the grass off of it. Um, just awesome. I got the TH Marine Atlas jack plate that I got it connected to the Falcon. And that is about it. That is the whole boat walk through. And so far, I love it from one end to the other. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, all, all expectations, all expectations were exceeded. And man, I just, I'm happy. I'm, li I'm literally excited. Like every time I get on the water, I love it. So, well, that's the boat walk through guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I didn't want to do it right away. I wanted to actually use the boat and give you guys an honest, straight up opinion about it. And uh, you heard it all right there. So thanks for watching. If you're on YouTube, hit a like, hit a subscribe. Wherever you're seeing this boat walk through, throw some comments. Let, let, let's hear what you guys think. You guys know I always go back and always try to answer all the comments. It might not be immediately, but within a day or so, I always try to get back and answer all the, answer all the uh, comments and questions you guys have. So definitely throw some comments down there and we will see you out on the water.